we live in a world where the winds come blowing from all directions. There's gain and there's loss. There's status and loss of status. Praise, criticism, pleasure, and pain. It's like winds from the eight directions. And our problem is that most of us have big sails. Our ears, for example, are huge sails. A little bit of praise, a little bit of criticism, we get blown around. We like the praise, we don't like the criticism, but either way, we, when we get blown around like that, we, we get turned around. And sometimes we forget what's right and what's wrong. People can praise us, excuse me, people can praise us for doing the wrong things. And because we like the praise, we continue doing the wrong things. Or they criticize us for doing the right things, and we stop doing them. We're much too influenced by these things. So we've got to learn how to take down the sails and turn this sail mast into what the Buddha calls a stone pillar. The image they have in the canon is a stone pillar, stone pillar, sixteen spans long, eight spans buried in the ground, so that no matter which direction the wind blows from and no matter how strong the wind is, the pillar doesn't shake. That's the kind of mind you want to have. It needs a good foundation for that, and this is why we work with the breath so you can feel at home with the breath. That no matter what hap comes up in life, no matter what happens, okay, you've got this place right here. This is your space. You can make this a good space for yourself. This is your safe place, your solid place. And the winds come blowing by, they just let them blow right past. Try to be as aerodynamic as possible. And this way, when the things come by, sometimes the winds will blow good things your way. Okay, you can make use of them. And sometimes, even though they may seem like bad things, you can actually make good use of them too. As John Lee points out, when when people criticize you and when you lose your status, okay, they're good things to learn. When you're not wealthy, you see things that you don't get to see when you are wealthy. Look at people who are powerful and wealthy, I and mean, everybody's lying to them. There's a case in the canon where the king wants to come in to discuss the Dharma with the Buddha, and all he know, knows about the Buddha is what he's heard in the palace, and the palace is full of lies. That's what it's like when there's a lot of power and a lot of money, and when you're outside of that, then you can see things more truthfully. So learn to take the good and the bad and get the good out of both the good and the bad. Don't let them catch you otherwise. Keep your mind aerodynamic, keep your mind solidly based, firmly established, deeply buried down into the ground. That doesn't mean you're all the way down there so you don't see anything. You're up. Part of you is receiving all these things from the world. But in a way, you're not being pushed around by them. That's the kind of mind we want to develop. This is why I meditate.